Good morning. I just got up. It is 6.21, bright and early. Honestly, I've been trying to get up every day really early so I can go to the gym and like do something productive before I start working and do my daily tasks and stuff. But it is so hard. I feel like I'm only a morning person when I don't want to be. Like if I have something that I want to do in the morning, I can sleep all day. But if I finally have a day off and I want to sleep in, I, I can't sleep past 7.30 a.m. So yeah, I'm going to get up and put on some gym clothes, brush my teeth. Yeah. Milo has woken me up every single day for the past week. He used to never come on my bed. Come here. Now he's ignoring me, of course. But for the past few days, he has jumped on my bed in the middle of the night and begged for attention. It's so weird. I don't know what's up with him. He's been eating normal and everything, so there's nothing wrong. I think he just wants attention. All right, here's the gym fit. My top and my leggings are actually both from Gymshark. I'm like obsessed with this color. It's very cute and springy. And I just did my hair in a ponytail and I know my bangs are gonna fall out. I've accepted it, it's fine. But I did put two preventative hair clips that will absolutely fall out. Also, I cannot find my lock anywhere. So I'm gonna bring this mini satchel thing, which I know I'll look like a dork with this in the gym, but also I don't wanna leave my stuff in the locker without a lock on it. So that's what we're gonna have to do. I just got back from the gym. It was a pretty good workout. I feel really good and energized now. This morning was a tough start, but I feel so much better. I think I'm gonna take a shower, just get my hair wet and reset it. So I'll put some product in it, do a little makeup because my dark circles are kind of popping today and then I'll make some breakfast. Okay, I thought I would show you guys what I've been using. I did get my hair permed, so it has much more of a wave. It's similar to my natural wave texture, but it holds so much better, so very happy I did that. I've been using the Shea Moisture Curl Smoothie and also the Diva Curl Miracle Curl Plumper Texture and Volume Goo stuff, and it's been holding really well throughout the day, so I'm gonna put that in now, and I'm just gonna plop it for like five minutes, I think, with a towel. I know I look silly, but I'm gonna do my skincare now. One thing I've been struggling with recently is just like general redness on my face. I haven't had that many breakouts. I have like this one little guy here, but other than that, it hasn't been too bad. So I'm trying this anti-redness serum, if we'll focus. It's by First Aid Beauty, so hopefully that works. It seems to have pretty good ingredients, so I'm hoping that it does the trick. Otherwise, I'm very open to suggestions. I'm not a skincare expert by any means. My under eye bags have just been so bad. Like they're hereditary. They're not from tiredness. I sleep eight to nine hours a day. It's just like, I'm very pale. So I'm putting this vitamin E cream on them. I just find that this hydrates them pretty well and makes it so my concealer doesn't settle like super ugly. But I still haven't found one eye cream that I'm like totally sold on. And then for makeup, oh, I'm just gonna adjust this. Okay, good enough. I'm gonna try to go for something like glowy and summery. So I'm gonna try this Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. I got it in the lightest color that they had, I think I got it at Target. So yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure how to apply it. I'm thinking just like a go for it sort of situation. I already put a primer on and like my moisturizer and sunscreen, so I don't know. I'm not really sold on it. This isn't like a my makeup routine video, so I'm just gonna like quickly do it. I will show you guys like the overall look once I'm done. All right, we're looking much more alive now. I did my makeup, I put product in my hair, and now I just have to pick out an outfit. The weather is supposed to be pretty shit today, so I think I'm just gonna go for something comfy but still goes with the pink makeup. Okay, here's the fit right now. It's just these like relaxed jeans from Target, this little Cupid top from ASOS. No, it's really basic, I have a vision. I'm thinking like layered gold necklaces, gold bracelets, gold hoops, it will come together. Let's see what we've got here. 
maybe some pearls too to like give it a little bit of interest all right one second i'm gonna put them on okay here's the vision i have three necklaces one sort of tangled right now with my grandmother's has like tiny pearls on it and then i have the pearl and gold one my boyfriend got for me and then this lock one from anna luisa i have two gold bracelets this is a little words project this is from amazon and then i have my majuri boston hoops if it will focus oh there we go cute okay now that i look more like myself other than my messy drying hair I thought I would do an official intro to the video, so hey there, if you're new here, my name's Emma, I make college and lifestyle videos, otherwise welcome back. Um, I thought today I would do a very casual, just productive day in my life video. I normally do like super scripted videos and I plan them all out and I refilm it and I use a tripod and stuff and today I was just like, let's just do something more casual and fun. I'm not gonna like refilm stuff other than when our bird screams, he's downstairs, I'm still at my parents' house couple more weeks till I move into my apartment at school so yeah so today's plan obviously I already went to the gym I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I am working today I just started a new job which is like my first real 40 hour a week job I'm so excited about it I've had so much fun so far and I do also have two classes I'm taking a sociology class this semester as well as a performance class so I'll be doing that I'm also hoping to film a TikTok or a reel during my lunch break and of course I'll have lunch and dinner and I have a little bit of unboxing to do and yeah, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Okay, I just sat down to do some work, but like I just wanted to show off my really cute new folders if they'll focus. Like aren't those so cute? I just designed them in Canva and then pasted them on top of the original like boring Apple folders. And it goes with my background that I designed based on a little Pinterest picture. So I'm obsessed. This like actually motivates me to do work. So love it. So today at work, I am doing a lot of little gift designs. Um, the company I work for wants to have some little like moving pictures and stuff that people can use on their Instagram stories, which I think is so cute. And also I've always wanted to figure out how to like integrate those. So I'm excited to learn about that. Thought I would show you guys my little setup going on here. So I just have my laptop on like one of those little stands from Amazon and my fidget toy for my Zoom calls. Uh, I got this mouse and keyboard system from Amazon. They're on my storefront, which I'll link in the description. And that's pretty much it. I have like my pens and coasters and stuff here as well. I just finished a bunch of stuff for work. I also watched an episode of Why Women Kill, which is what me and my mom have been watching while I did some design work. So it's about noon now. I think I'm gonna go have some lunch. I'm thinking I am gonna have like chicken quesadillas with guac and pico. I got a couple things at Whole Foods yesterday. So I'll go show you guys what I end up making. Lunch is served. I ended up doing a chicken quesadilla and I took the shredded chicken that I bought from Target the other day. It was like one of the prepared meal thingies and I just added like a Mexican seasoning to it so it looks pretty good I'm excited to try it I have class in like 15 minutes so I thought it would be fun to do a laptop unboxing this is just the one I got from work um I have no idea what kind it is or anything okay well wait a second it's a Microsoft Surface yay laptop great let's see what it came with i'm guessing a charger yep we got a charger okay this is like the informational packet about it cool i am not a microsoft familiar person so i'm gonna have to like look up the tr tips and tricks for using this i think the surface means that it has a touch screen but maybe i'm making that up TBD. Lately, I've been using this desktop app called Todoist to keep track of all my schoolwork. So I put like 
each of my classes as a section and then I put all of the assignments and when they're due and I have some of them repeat so like for this class I have readings every class so I just have it repeat I did do today so I can cross that off and it will go to Monday um, and I also do one for like my content for Instagram I have some ideas and things like that and it will also go in calendar form if you like which is pretty cool. I recommend it. This isn't sponsored or anything. It's just like what I like to use. I was actually thinking about doing a video where I go over every single organization software that I've tried in the past because I've used so many like for like Notion, Todoist, Trello, um, like physical planners, physical calendars, weekly calendars. Like I feel like by now I've gotten it down to a science and some people might find that helpful. So I think that's like the next video I'm gonna make. Class is over. Three hour classes can be so long sometimes. If you have the opportunity to avoid taking three hour classes in college, do it. At least if you have the attention span that I do. I literally play with like fidget toys the whole time because I just, it gets so boring so quick. So I think now I'm just gonna post on Instagram. I have this really cute picture going up today. Let me see if I can find it. It's like, a floral tote bag moment so that's gonna go up once I do that I think I am going to film a TikTok. I have a little bit of extra time right now I just don't have my ideas yet so I'm gonna check my idea board on my computer and see if there's anything that I can do easily it is raining outside so it has to be indoors all right she is posted if you don't follow me on Instagram already here's my handle shameless self plug go follow me I post pretty frequently Lots of like fashion and aesthetic stuff. So I think I figured out what I want to do for the TikTok. I got this skirt from Aritzia, or is that how you say it? I have no idea. Um, first time buying from them, but I just like have no idea how to wear it. So I thought I would do a styling video and that way I can like experiment with a couple different outfits and then see what I like. Okay, I finally put my camera on a tripod so I can actually show you guys something. This is the article in question that I'm thinking about styling, like little... I don't know. This reminds me of like one of those hibiscus like Hawaiian prints, I guess, but it's like a really bright red, which I love. And I do have a vision, so let's go see how it turns out. <laughs> I also bought this like nice ring light on Prime Day. It was like 50% off or something crazy like that. So it was like a $200 ring light that I got for like, I think 80, so it was a little more than 50% off. I'm like obsessed. I had like a really crappy one before that was like $15 and the, the difference is absolutely like, it's just so phenomenal like this is so bright and it like dims it's you can adjust it really well and also the thing that holds your phone is so much better than the old one too so i'm so excited to actually get to use it for the first time today for a tiktok right now i'm just using this tick this um video i mean as like a brainstorming sheet but i used to always film my tiktoks in this corner and i would just move this mirror over there it's like the plant would be in the background the two frames but i'm sort of feeling like this as the background because like the gallery wall is cute and i have like a little mushroom and the candles and stuff so i'm gonna position the ring light here and see if that looks good here's how i ended up styling it in the video i made so i paired it with like this cute body con this loose button down for shoes i have these like cute little platform sandals and then the bag that was super popular last year kind of love it honestly all right, now that I got some content cranked out today, I think I'm just gonna change into like loungewear because I have a class from six to nine. So I know by the end of it, my jeans are gonna start bothering me. So I'm gonna go do that now. And here is the little loungewear set that I'm wearing. It's not actually a set. I just like put two things together. This is a little top from Target and I'm wearing that you can totally see through a Gymshark um, sports bra. And then these are just little lounge shorts from Pull and Bear on ASOS. I spent the last few minutes just enjoying some time before my other class and I did a little online shopping. I know, I like seriously, since the pandemic have developed like a really bad online shopping habit. I think it's just cause like, when I was trapped inside my house, I liked things to arrive, but I actually have a job now. So I'm allowing myself this purchase. I did a little Sephora shopping. I got a new sunscreen, the Gisu, I don't know pronunciation, hair oil that everyone's talking about. And then I got a perfume to try, but like the mini one, obviously, and Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, powder, which I actually have not tried yet, but everyone loves it. So I have a three hour class in seven minutes. So I'm gonna go take my makeup off real quick, do my nightly skincare and get ready for class. 
I am currently on my 15 minute break from my class so I thought I would find two outfits that I might wear to work tomorrow. It's my first day going in and post them on my Instagram story and have my followers pick. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And while I'm in there, I'm also gonna pick out my workout set for tomorrow, put that out so it's ready to go in the morning because I'm so lazy. I'm gonna come up in the... Class is over. It is, let's see. It's 9.03 p.m. And it ended early. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Though, actually the project we were talking about towards the end sounds pretty interesting. We have to do an instructional video. I think I'm gonna do mine on grooming a rabbit so I can have my rabbit in the video. I think that'll be really cute. So now that class is over, I actually go to bed pretty early so I can get up early in the morning. I think I'm gonna write in my journal for a little bit before I go to bed. That way my eyes are off the screen as well. So this is the journal I've been using since just early May. So I haven't had it that long. It's the standard issue notebook number three. The size is really convenient. Here's it compared to my hand. So it's not huge by any means. And it has a pen strap and it also has um, like this elastic to keep it closed. It also has a really cute inside. Um, I'm just covering up my personal information as well as my boyfriend's. But it came with this little ruler thing and like a dock route so you can put notes and make a key for yourself and stuff like that. It's really cool. So I've really enjoyed using it. Um, yeah. I've used it for a bunch of things so far, including like manifesting, writing out my gratitudes, recording major events, um, writing about things I'm anxious about, writing my goals down. I found it super helpful to do in the mornings and evenings, especially like not as much in the middle of the day because I tend to like wake up with something on my mind or at the end of the day, I want to wind down and do something relaxing. So journaling has been that activity for me. I was actually thinking about making a full YouTube video about how I use journaling, what I journal about, how I like manifest and how I write down my gratitudes and things like that. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. As far as today's pages go, they are blank right now. I think, I don't know what I'm gonna write about. Yesterday I wrote about um, some of my goals surrounding my health and fitness because I've been starting going to the gym more often and eating a little bit better. And I've also been writing a lot about my job. And I've also just been writing about like, up for me, starting a new job was really nerve wracking because I have pretty severe social anxiety and meeting new people is really hard for me. So it definitely took a lot of like self-encouragement to get over some of those fears about meeting coworkers and like jumping into something new. Today, I think I'm gonna write about some of my goals for my social media. I haven't done that in a little bit, but I recently returned to Instagram and TikTok and YouTube like this video. Um, so I definitely have some goals for the platforms, especially video oriented. I am much more interested in doing video content as of late just because like Instagram, for example, released the other day that they're like not considering themselves a photo sharing app anymore. So like photography really seems to be pushing to the side, whereas like video content is doing well. Obviously TikTok has been so successful, hence Instagram, you know, going in that direction. So I definitely want to orient myself towards that. And I also love doing video content anyway, so I'm really excited about it. During my class break, by the way, I meant to mention this, I did eat dinner. <laughs> I feel like this video makes it seem like I don't eat anything. I had a bunch of snacks throughout the day and stuff. And I also did have dinner in the middle of my class. I, even though there, we weren't on a break, I just like was so hungry. I went downstairs and I had a chicken carbonara. So that was my dinner. I just put on my favorite sleeping mask, which unintentionally matches my whole outfit today. It's the youth to the people. I think that's what it's called. Um, they're like youth berry mask. That's the pale yellow color. So a little matchy matchy, but it's rubbed in by now. I think I'm just gonna feed my rabbit and plug in for the night and then I'll be all set. I'm also resetting his favorite toy, which is these stacking cups he is obsessed with them he like takes them apart throws them across the room it's so cute every night i put them back together and within or by the next morning they are all over the floor so i know he plays with them at night of course he immediately spilled all of his food on the ground so what a good boy
all right i think i'm gonna call it a night guys thanks so much for coming along with me on this day in the life i hope it wasn't too boring even though i mostly just stayed at home i feel like i got a lot of work done though i hope you guys enjoyed and if you're new here i'm so happy you came don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye